We are down at the dock with Stevie Mitchell, Star World Champion, and two-time laser champion Nick Thompson. Stevie, you're an old vet in this boat, but it is Nick's first time and first day ever sailing the Star. What are you expecting of him? He'll be just fine. He's a great sailor in the laser. Um, he'll pick it up very, very quickly. One of the reasons why us older vets get to come in the boat is that we do the mechanics of the boat. So I can hopefully do all the mechanics. Nick can weave his magic with a tiller extension and hopefully we'll be okay. We'll, uh, we'll find out in a couple of hours time. And Nick, what are you hoping for for your first time star sailing? Yeah, I think the first step is just to get off the dock. That would be quite nice. And then uh, if we can not lose our rig on the first day, I'll be pretty happy. But yeah, I mean, I'm so fortunate to have uh, Stevie to sail with. You know, I think he's already taught me so much and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. All right, we'll let you guys get out there. Hopefully we'll get to listen in to Stevie coaching Nick through it. Thank you, we'll see you out there. You can say that just inside the Telltales is fine. Okay. Use that as a depowering tool as well. As you height of your boom off the back of the deck. Close. Okay. Oh, that's Sweet. Feels nice. Like heel angle, obviously that's a little too flat. Yeah. A little shifty here. It's going to load up here. Okay, about a little bit flatter than this is a good angle. Yeah. Pressure building here. Yeah. yeah. And really, you're not really playing the main much in this. No. So when you get those puffs like that, you just steer to them. Yeah. If they're big, pull on a bit of this. If you need a bit of power, pull on the check stay a little bit. Crack off quite a bit. Yeah, crack off this guy. And that will effectively pull your check on a little bit anyway. Yeah. I'll crack the jib a tiny bit. To give you a bit of power. Big, yeah. You want a bit of weather helm all the time. Okay. So you want, if you let go of the tiller, the boat will slowly round up. Yeah. So don't, don't be afraid of it. If it starts to roll around a bit, yeah. obviously a little bit of sheet will help you. Yeah. Normally it means either the vang's a little bit too eased or your sheet's too far out. Yeah. So just sheet on a little bit. This will help you help balance you up. Uh, the rig's not going to do anything bad from there. If it comes over to him too far, the pole will dip in the water. And that pushes, the, by the snaps the pole or it pushes the mast back and breaks the mast. Um, but actually, like it's, it's a bit like a laser in that when it does come over on top of you, actually the further away you go, the more it stabilizes itself. But it's really counterintuitive, right? Stand by John. Nice, good one. Turn the corner. Yep, fine. Just, just, just push it across and go up. There you go. <laughs> When you get flat spots, use that to get your height. When you get the waves, just your priority is just getting through the wave as clean as you can. Just load it up a tiny bit more. That's it, and then go a bit of check. So I get till that starts stops flapping. That's it. If it's ever flapping like that, that's bad. Way more check, and if you need to, put a bit more back stay onto deep power. A little bit in, the, in those puffs to flatten the boat, yeah. then get ready to pull it away again. That's it. Lovely. Just what you want. Yeah. <laughs> day one, star sailing. How was it? Yeah, fantastic. Really good day out. It was uh, really nice to get out there and straight into some racing with uh, with all the other guys. We had uh, a little bit on, uh, certainly at the lure marks, but yeah, we uh, we got there pretty quickly. Pretty happy. How would you rate him as a star skipper? Great. I mean, first day in the boat. Yeah, we did some manoeuvres, we didn't do any big disasters, and we got into racing some boats, and it was good. Like we, we had any disasters. I know, it was a big disaster. disaster. We had a <laughs> reasonable speed, and yeah, we were racing rather than just trying to sail a boat around the course. What is the hardest part? Uh, probably the lure mark rounding, to be honest. It's just it's so much main sheet to bring in, and it's pretty loaded. It's, um, I mean, there's a, you know, it's a big main, if you hadn't noticed. So uh, I certainly didn't until I got out there. But uh, yeah, that's probably the hardest bit, but it's good fun. Awesome. All right. Thanks, you guys. Good luck out there this week. Thank, Thank you very much.